All right, guys, we're doing a collection review, and today today's video is on brand into in. And I think I have everything I've ever purchased right in this bag, but I, I'm certain I have a few items that are out and about somewhere. So I think I got most of it. So we're just gonna step through it. I don't. I'm not gonna remember all the the names of the clothing, what they called them at the time. I'm just going to focus on style, what I thought about it. And it's a mix of swimwear and underwear, of course. And you know, whenever I shoot these videos about, uh, you know, what I bought, it's always like, oh man, I can't believe I spent that much money, but it's been over many, many years. So let's get into it. Let's do some sorting. Here's a newer one. It's kind of a, obviously yellow, has the latest logo they have, on the, the band logo. This one's fun, I like it, it's comfortable. All right, let's do some sorting. Mm -hmm. oh, man, more difficult than I expected. No! My light went out already. That's a lot to sort. So I'm just gonna focus on what I have in front of me. I got another thong key back, almost a G-string because it's a very simple back like that. Camouflage, this is newer, 2021. Similar to this, let's use group what I can here. And then some very bulge like biking shorts. That's the style in it. They're shorts and they're they're kind of like longer boxer briefs. There's no grips on them, so they're not technically biking shorts. These are super comfortable. Um, good quality on these. I, I really enjoy these. The video that I did, people seem to like it. Let's uh, get into, here's a swimsuit. One of the first thong swimsuits I got from them. It's a uh, Green, forest green color, big logo on front. You can see it's wearing out, but it's probably, it's pretty old at this point. Kind of tight. If you wear these all day, especially go hiking, you'll get some kind of abrasive marks on the on your backside. So that, that's not specific to this brand, but anything that's kind of tight like that is going to get you. They then went on to release this style that's a bit... Um, less tight. It had, doesn't have the big logo in front. The purple one, these ones are great. I wish they did some more of these ones. So just a little tag in the back. I got a bunch of those. Let's see. I got a yellow tea back. What else? Got a, I think this is a red, red one of the same cut. I went a little while with those. What else can I spot here? No, yeah, I had a blue. Blue color. They, around this time, they had a a metallic version and this is a black metallic but the metallic is entirely gone now so you can see black and, and, and there's just no none of the metal left it's actually kind of fun it's pretty pretty comfortable to wear at this point uh, I'm just doing a quick sorting here Oh yeah, on this one, they, I had an orange as well, exactly the same cut as these other ones. It was released the same season, orange. Orange looks cool to look at, but I never think that I it's a good color for me. It does, does not seem to look great with my skin tone. Certainly in pictures. I think this is a newer one, but a very similar style. It's camouflage, logo in front, um, pouch, tea back, but it has a, a drawstring as well. 
that's that's actually decent with uh when you're doing swimwear if you're actually in the ocean and you hit a wave these things are gone <laughs> here's one that was um obviously it's very dark blue same cut as that forest green ones these were great the pouch the bulge looks good um they're a little tight what else so this one it's not really swimwear but the black one that i had that i told you the metallic wore off this is the silver version that i've not worn as much I'm trying to preserve this a little bit but it's a silver metallic pretty comfortable logo on back not really worn out and let's see this one I bought around the same time, and this one's pretty elaborate. So it has the same fabric texture, big bulge pouch, and then it has a ring on the inside. So it's kind of elaborate to put on, slow to put on. Then it has the drawstring, and it's, it's going to make things really stand out. And then decent uh, logo on back. Something about when you wear this, the when you see a picture of kind of the backside, it's uh, because it has this black here. Some something about it, it's really cool looking, kind of hot photo. All right, let's move these aside, and I'm trying to. Okay, here's another one you could do with swimwear. It's similar to that red and black one bit newer so it's kind of a fuchsia purple dark pink logo up front big bulge ring inside um tea back the tea back on this one's a little bit smaller it's pretty fun and what else so this is a maybe 2019 one and i did wear this on vacation one time so you got the tropics hula person hula girl palm trees blue white cartoon uh, logos this one's comfortable tea back bulge pouch and uh, 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 uh. This one is a newer one. It's kind of a mint color. It, you can classify it in the same kind of fabric and category that I've been showing you. But it's mesh. It's pretty small mesh. It's not entirely easy to see through, but you wouldn't want to be wearing this at your, you know, local pool establishment. <laughs> Public pool. So that's pretty neat. And has, I like the logo on back. It's a uh, plastic blue logo patch in the, on the back. That's not bad. What else? Let's see. I'm trying to find things that are underwear, but also could go as swimwear. And I have this one, a red maroon color big pouch kind of tall comfortable tea back no logo on it this one's okay pretty basic and this one is a new one probably in the last five years but it's a um dark green and this one in the right sunlight you can see through it and this one is a lot of fun very Comfortable to wear. And I like this one. T back. No logos. Yeah, that one's pretty hot. I have to wear that one. What else? Okay, so this is not, I wouldn't call this swimwear, but this came out around the same time as that maroon one. It's kind of a, I don't know what you call it, like a velvety fabric how they wove it together but it's pretty comfortable a little bit tall up front not as tall as the maroon one standard tea back 
I like this one. Probably could see through this one in the right sunlight as well. What else? All right, I bought this. They had this series of kind of mesh ones. And so light blue, tea back. They went for a long run with the backside being just a tea back and being exactly the same style. At least in 2021, they're venturing out a little bit more. Doing some different cuts, which I like. And here's a wild uh, fuchsia pink, same one. What else? I got a bikini in the light blue. Pretty big pouch there. These are, you know, if I'm gonna wear this, if I'm out in public, at the beach or something. For me, it's like I'd rather, I typically I'd rather be wearing the thong and the difference, if, if you're already gonna commit to this small of a swimsuit, maybe you should just go for the thong is what you really wanna wear in the first place. So I tend not to wear the briefs, bikinis too much. And then this wild one, I'm not sure what I was thinking at the time. I think I just wanted something different pink flowered wild design and while I was at it I figured I'd double down and buy another thing that outside of my normal zone of what I buy and this other see-through mesh weird design and the right sunlight this will be see-through as well you can kind of see my fingers there the thing about these ones it's with any mesh, depending on the mesh, uh, they can be pretty scratchy and uncomfortable. So you wear this outside, get sand in places, and that that mesh grinding against the sand, it's not not the best feeling. But those are those are fun. I had another one that I forgot. I had a I bought another one of those four screen kind of thongs I was wearing as a swimsuit. Logo on back. I think I got a small size. I was testing out the sizing and that's not gonna fit today, but small, get that extra bulge. What else? Oh, and no, no. Okay, so around the same time that these, this pink and light blue one came out, they had a black one that's also mesh. This one's awesome. This is this was the one to get, even though it's basic black. But it's a little see-through, it's soft. This one's awesome. They should do more of these. No logo. Oh, I wear that one with frequency because it's so comfortable. And then I went through this. I think they had this as kind of like sleepwear, kind of, I don't know what you call it, home homeware, but they had this or loungewear, loungewear, right? These series of thongs, I like the design on them, they're pretty neat. These are also comfortable, but you got a blue one and you got an orange one with blue, logo on back, tea back, decent pouch. Got those. And then they have traditional or classic underwear that they have. Black one, maroon one. This is mostly cotton, majority cotton. And it makes a difference because it's super comfortable. A white one, white, uh, yellow one. Yellow always gets messed up in the wash. So those are, those are pretty good. Get, if you're new to the brand and you like comfortable, you want them as underwear, try these ones out. These are good. This should be still available just as their classic thong. And then let's jump into a couple new ones for late 2020, 2021 also. This is a 
different cut of the thong finally. So it's basically a G-string and the, the band is super small. The T-back is a little bit bigger. These are fun. They're a little shapeless. Um, but uh, then you got the pouch, bulge pouch, logo up front. These are pretty good. The thing about G-strings sometimes, depending on what they are, they, they, they're this kind of shapeless. They're not as interesting, even though they're more revealing, they're not as interesting as maybe a T-back cut. So I don't know if they can somehow change this up to make it a little bit more interesting. There's that. And they had this one that came out around the same time, and this is a <clears throat> more traditional G-string, and it's soft. It's fine. I probably wouldn't buy this one again. There's something about it. It just looks kind of dull. There, you can get cheaper ones off of Amazon that have the same same thing. It, it's uh, nothing really special about this one <clears throat> with N2N. And then... I forgot this one, but you could also do this one as swimwear. Very <clears throat> vibrant green, great green color. And it was pretty thin, bigger pouch than some of those other ones I showed you. More of a flat front than a bulge, but still a little bit of a compartment. T back, I would say the T is a little smaller than those other ones logo printed on back and it has this plastic uh, snap so you could undo it it's more of a gimmick it's definitely a gimmick because it I don't know what you're really gonna do with it it's uh if you're trying to take it off right you still have have it through the other leg so it's it's not like you have to pull your legs out you have to pull out you'll still have to pull out one so it'd be more practical if you had it on both sides but uh this is just basically design this one's pretty good and then lastly this is great one they didn't have very many of these on the website they kind of sold them out quickly but um very great good color of blue logo up front pouch is not too big um good bulge very soft not entirely see-through t-back and i worked out in this one people really like the color pictures 83% nylon and 17% spandex. Not bad. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. And then I had this kind of soft uh, sleepwear wrestling suit, I guess. It's kind of a tank top thing. It's very uh, stretchy. The top is, there's not much to the top, so it's kind of, you're hanging out. I had a few. Oh, I had I have into end pants, of course, tights. But it, uh, I think that's in another bag. Mixed a uh, mixed set of um, into end tights. But this is the swimwear and underwear. So hey everyone, if you want to see any of these uh, garments worn and tried on, uh, check out my OnlyFans. It's a the spot where I primarily do this. I have a whole basic collection of into and photos and some videos uh, basically anything what you want to see that you saw in this youtube video basically will be can be available over in only fans if you don't find it let me know do check it out it's not a lot of money um, if you're really into it i think it's uh, worth your time thanks again thanks for watching if you have any questions any recommendations for gear um, do let me know um, a lot of you view my videos but i really like you to subscribe that helps me out a lot um so do leave a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you